lucky today to have the two stars of this new film with us. They're actually touring the United States. And uh, I understand you all are best friends. I hope you remain best friends after all this travel together that you're about to do. <laughs> <laughs> They're just beginning their journey. Um, tell me a little bit about what makes each other so special. Do you want to start? Yes. Uh, good morning, everyone. We know each other from uh, childhood, and we are in same coaching classes. And uh, my feeling uh, is she is very uh, she knows our team very well, and we need her in our team because she is responsible and sensitive. <laughs> uh, he is my uh, very best friend because he is very good communicator and whenever I feel a uh, problem in my life, he helps me. So I think he is helpful. <laughs> <laughs> so you all talk a bit in the film about fate and destiny yes. and how that actually holds people back in your culture. And we're talking about positive disruption today. Tell us about what limitations come from thinking that way. Uh, in my community, many people thought uh, luck control their life. But I think whenever I uh, do some work, that is my good luck. And when I do something bad, that is my bad luck. So I am choose my work, not my luck. And when I first go to on track class in press, um, Dada told us, in our mentor told mm -hmm. us, the luck is the just a what? It does not import in anything. So show uh, not Wait your luck, do something today. And how do you break through that with people? How do you get them to think differently than about luck and fate when you talk to them? What is it that you do or communicate to them? Um, in our group, working at 13 years in uh, my group, uh, my community, and much more, uh, our one school is Shaujpat, the premier, uh, the pre-primary school. And more uh, women and mother come and uh, talk about the faith, and uh, many more girls coming to my team. And same thing, we uh, believe they love is the word. Please uh, focus your uh, study, focus your work. Mm. Now, both of you have been very involved in this polio campaign. Yes. India has been polio free now for two years, which is quite amazing. How does it feel to be part of something that's a success like that in your community? Yes, uh, two years ago, government of India declared now India is polio free country. And some pre uh, parents don't take their children to the polio center. They, uh, they think the, their children are safe from polio. Mm -hmm. But uh, in our community, uh, every, uh, every month on uh, Sunday, but the date changes, and some parents uh, don't know it, uh, when it will happen. That's why uh, our media is comics, puppetry, role play. Let them know uh, it is important. Mm. And uh, we proud feel uh, to uh, say, before we start uh, our work on polio, only 35% uh, children take their vaccine. Before or our advocacy, before uh, on our work, now 85% children get mm. their vaccines. Wow. And now, uh, now we uh, work with filmmakers of Revolutionary Optimates and uh, Computer Lab on uh, Columbia University. And now we use smartphones to track the children because our area is too huge and 9,000 people uh, live there. Hmm. And now uh, uh, we ask them, uh, we see their health card and now the data on, uh, on internet. We wish we could take you all all over the world to get vaccination <laughs> rates up that much. <laughs> um, Salima, I know you've been you've been really involved in girls and girls empowerment and women's empowerment. What kind of messages do you give to help women and girls think about themselves differently? Uh, I think girls are more focused in the, what they do. And <laughs> <laughs> do you agree with this? <laughs> Sorry. And. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, when I do the, uh, in work them, and I uh, I am sure he give uh, the hundred percent. And uh, another things are uh, in my community, girl brought up different uh, things. They are more sensitive than boys, mm -hmm. and more uh, you know clearly. So they are work easily to girls. Mm -hmm. What is it that you all both wish um, Americans ha thought differently about your community or Indian slums? How do you wish they would think differently about them? Yeah, we know we are uh, living uh, slums, and we know it's not a very good place. But 
uh, with our uh, own initiative, we change our community. And in future, no one, uh, no one feel bad uh, living slums. Hmm. That's the things uh, we want to share with every, uh, everyone. Hmm. I think you all also help people know that things are possible. That there's so much ingenuity in your slums, even just with what you all do and what I see other kids or other adults do. It's kind of it's an amazing the potential there, right? That sometimes is untapped. Um, tell me a little bit about what's in the future for each of you personally. Uh, I'm a, a, a filmmaker, and uh, 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 one of the photographers, the revolutionary optimists, he taught us the how handling camera. And I uh, love filmmaking because I love telling story. And uh, uh, in my future, in uh, the, my community, it treated girls and boys the same. Hmm. How about you, Celine? I want to become a lawyer, ma'am, because our uh, because our community need lawyer because we work on polio mm -hmm. and we work on uh, drinking water. But we uh, know the government rules, and lawyer as a person, they know everything. The government rules, and they argue for uh, them. Have you had to speak in front of parliament before? Yes, ma'am. And how did you how did you find that experience? Yeah, it's good, and they uh, value us. They. Uh, Concentrate uh, of us. Well, I think the future is very bright for the two of you, and we look forward to hearing your voices in so many different ways on the global stage and in your own community. So, thanks for being with yeah. us today, Celine. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.